Okay, today we are playing a game on Junker Town. We are in the gold SR range and we will be playing Soldier on Defense and McCree and Bastion on Attack. And our current team composition is Winston, Roadhog, Doomfist, Soldier 76, Moira, and Anner. Anner, as if there's an R there somewhere. So Winston Roadhog's kind of a weird combination of tanks. Would rather have, like, Reinhardt than the Winston. Especially given that, you know... We're defending Junkertown. There's an above average chance of the enemy team coming at us with a bastion out of the gate. In which case, Winston's gonna be one sad boy. But anyway, let's just start the game. So he's defending first. We're a little bit late to the party, but not very much so. Winston, I believe, is currently up to some shit somewhere. I remember seeing him just like jump back to us at one point, like, oh, there he is. So, they've got a Reinhardt, not overly surprising. They also have a Junkrat. No, um, no Bastion, though, surprisingly enough. I'm always actually surprised when I'm defending on Junker Town and I don't see a Bastion come out of the gate at the start. It's just what I expect to happen. Though that might just be because not that long after Junker Town came out, that was literally all you saw for a really long period of time. And then it sort of started to drop off, but it's just what I expect still at this point. So I spent a lot of time bullying the Reinhardt, which is pretty much what Soldier does. And we've almost got Attack Visor built up. We're two-thirds, no, we're three-quarters of the way there at less than a minute in, which is pretty good time, all things considered. But we've gotten the opportunity to just kind of sit here and, like, plink away at some tanks for a while. So we're making good time, basically. Um, Winston, I wouldn't say, is putting in a huge amount of work. This is not, I would consider, to be the most optimal time to start using Tac Visor because we can see that Diva's going to come right at us right now. That's all she's thinking about doing. Because we see her start boosting before we push the button, and she's coming right at us. So, we push Tac Visor, and we're actually fairly lucky to survive, all things considered, seeing as we almost died. But bare minimum, like, D.Va's gonna be in the way in the near future, and then we end up getting basically no value out of Tac Visor, really. So, we would have been better off waiting for D.Va to get out of our face, seeing as she was clearly coming straight for our face at the time we pushed the button. So D.Va got behind us, and now she's thrown her ult over us. We did see her fairly in advance of that behind us. I mean, obviously she's behind us, right? Because that's where it's coming from. But we could have um, been trying more actively to kill her while this was happening than we were. I think we actually interrupted our reload, though, didn't we, right there? Yeah, we did. Uh, so we ended up having the reload right there. Awkward timing to reload. And then we end up getting killed by the enemy soldier's tack visor. And so everything fell apart relatively quickly right there. If we save the tack visor to use at a more opportune time, there's a good chance that fight went better for us because, well, I mean, what I fundamentally said right there was if you use your ult well, you'll probably do better, which is why they pay me the big bucks. We can't even use it to like kill the moth, which is inconvenient right now because, you know, that's happening. So, most of our team's dead. We have lost this checkpoint, tragically. So, we shouldn't really be staying around because we're just increasing our risk of dying. We do get to build up a fair chunk of alt charge, though, in the process. So, there's that. It's very convenient that they have a D.Va because, that ah, man, if you're playing Soldier and there's a D.Va on the enemy team, it's unfortunate alt-wise, but, like, using your alt. But D.Va's a really good alt battery for the enemy team. Especially if the D.Va isn't really worrying about, like, positioning that much, which they tend not to do. So they're usually really easy to shoot and build ult charge off of, just like Roadhog. So we've almost got Tac Visor built up, and we're basically just going to be using that at the earliest opportunity, which is right now. And we killed Anna, there was not much she could do about that one. Managed to kill Mercy as well. Reapers crept up on us, did we see him ahead of this happening? Because there's a lot of ways that Reaper could have just snuck behind us right here, but like, did we... Was there anything happening that could have indicated? Did I see Reaper down there? Come on, there we go. There's... There's Reaper. Yeah, we see Reaper. So we could have seen this coming, because this is Reaper, and Reaper's going towards that doorway right there. And then we don't see him again. Well, I mean, we saw him basically go through the doorway, and now we don't see him anymore. 
So he's going to come up behind us on the staircase. That's what he's going to do. Um, by the time he gets up on us, we're basically dead. But we've already killed both their supports by this point, And things are not going well outside of that as well. So they're pretty much destined to lose this team fight regardless. But we could have intuited that Reaper was going to come up behind us and been more prepared for it. You can tell a lot about the where somebody's going to go based off the direction they were going when you last saw them. He's going into the door. He's got to go around the back because he's playing Reaper. So Reinhardt, Lord only knows what he was up to. I was quite surprised we actually killed Anna. She died really fucking fast right there. Okay, we did some shit right there. Okay. Wasn't a great place to alt tab out because we were kind of like in full view of the enemy team right there. But we're alive, so who cares, right? So we're still just going to sit around bullying. Oh my god, he got so bullied. Yeah. I've been in that situation before. You're like, please, please, please don't go that far. Please. And then it just barely crests over the edge. Uh, or or like when you're you're out in the open, so you're basically fucked, and you just find something. You find a lamppost, and you're like, please, please, please count. Please, please count. And it doesn't count. The evil result can put you in some very, like, compromising positions sometimes. So, things are still going well. It's fine. It's all fine. So we're going to come around this way now. I'm not such a fan of coming over this way, just because it's not that much better of an angle. It's not a better angle, honestly. You can see a little bit better down there, but that's kind of it. You're a lot closer to them, which, uh, you know, can be unfortunate for, like, that kind of arrangement. I don't really like standing over there as, like, soldier. Um, someone like McCree can get, like, a little bit more value out from over there, but I don't like standing over there as soldier. So they have a far now. This is obviously upsetting for us because now we have to actually, like, oh, worry about killing a far, uh, which is very hard to do as soldier, especially if there's a mercy as well. Like, soldier, you can harass the far, uh, but it's hard to kill far. Uh. So she's mercy's not in her ult anymore. It's better at this point to try and shoot the mercy because it's hard to kill Farah as soldier regardless. It's even harder to kill her through mercy. But if we can kill the mercy, it suddenly becomes a lot easier to kill the Farah. And the mercy was just out in open space right there. So it would have been better to switch the mercy during that period right there. Now Farah is kind of all up in our grill. So obviously that's upsetting, but so is Reaper. So we're pretty fucked by that point. Did we see Reaper coming ahead of time? We were like real focused on the Farah, which is fair enough. Yeah, no. I heard him right there, but by the time that's happened, by the time we would have known he was there, it's kind of already too late to do anything about it. Because just Moira fading past us right there doesn't necessarily indicate that Reaper is right behind us. So, yeah, sometimes you get fucked. Uh, at this point, I would like, I'd consider changing to McCree. I just find McCree to be better for killing Farah overall. Especially, like, this is a relatively confined space. It's a little bit easier for McCree to be in uh, his effective range for killing the Farah, but your mileage may vary. Theoretically, the best thing to do is change to Widowmaker, but Widowmaker is hard to play. So, you know. Uh, maybe Ash will be really good at killing Farah. She, she probably will. Ash is hit scan, right? I'm pretty sure Ash's hits cam. Uh, I don't really know, to be honest with you. I suppose I can look it up, can't I? Uh, Ash, Overwatch, hit scan. Is she hit scan? Is Ash hit scan? I'm pretty sure she is. Mm, yes, I'm getting reports that yes, it is. Her Viper Rifle is a hitscan weapon and has random spread when aimed from the hip. I see, so it's kind of like a shotgun otherwise. Um, if it has like a ran- no, 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 it probably just has like, it's one shot but varies where it's gonna land exactly, so yes, Ash's hitscan. I thought she was, but I wasn't certain. Um, anyway, so yeah. Ash, Ash will uh, probably be really good at killing Farah. So a lot of our team are dead right now. Two of our team are dead, but like that's, you know, a solid third of our team right there. Now Doomfist's dead as well, so half our team is dead. I would not use Tac Visor right now because half our team is currently dead. 
So it's going to, even if like we kill a few people with this, we've just suddenly made the fight just like even again, unless we manage to kill everybody important with the one ultimate by ourselves, which is fairly unlikely. So I would have saved the attack visor until our team has actually started to regroup again, because we've got time. They've got to go all the way around the outer edge of this circle right now before they get back around. So we had time to wait on that one. Um, man, he is way too far up. Mesh Reaper's spinning. Didn't, didn't bother us too much, but it killed uh, Moira, which is unfortunate. Obviously, losing your healer is never really going to be particularly fortunate, is it? And now Reaper's alive again. Now we're purple at 76 hit points. Oh, we just got to kill him first. Oh, God, the bomb's happening. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I see. What a, what a traumatic experience, and now she's coming in after us as well. It's all it's all very, very unfortunate, very scary. Uh, miraculously enough, the fight actually isn't going that badly, all things considered. We almost died, but we managed to kill Reaper before he could kill us, which was all we could do from that position. Um... Uh, ooh, managed to build tack visor again. This isn't a great position. I'd rather go more to the left before we start using it because this barrier is like kind of in the way. Unless the thought was like Anna's kind of tucked up against the shield. So if I go that way, she'll just go that way. So if I'm here, I can kind of go either way to try and keep up with her. But like it ends up not being a great position. And then we have to like run forward to really get anything and then ah, we put the biotic field down like way late as well running into Arissa. It's would have been better to like start going left a little bit earlier to get ready to use the tack visor and then we're behind the barrier when we start using it rather than being in front of it and having to try and like go through the barrier to get a line of sight but like realistically you know we're in a pretty sad series of events it actually looked like we were going to pull it back for a second but then no we ended up not pulling it back also would have changed to somebody like may right at the end there just because may's better at stalling an objective than soldier is is she better against far at new but she can stall an objective i just saw the genji titty mouse pad right there good job um but it's genji's ass not his tits because you know obviously so now we've entered the bastion segment of the game God, Bastion's gun looks weird in this skin. So they still have a far, which is obviously upsetting to us as Bastion. And we're gonna try and play the good old pirate ship. So our far is already dead. I think somebody else died as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Bastion's are really, uh... Oh, Ash is. She's fu That person's fucking ready for when Ash comes out right there. So, now we have a Widowmaker on our team. She managed to kill the Farah miraculously enough. Because, you know, when have you ever seen a Widowmaker do a damn job, right? <laughs> uh, but, there's a Mercy over there. So she's just alive again. Oh, <laughs> that, was, that was a little bit unfortunate to watch. We're playing Bastion right now. There isn't overly much to say about it, you know. So, what do y'all think about Ash? Y'all excited for Ash? I'm excited for Ash. That's gonna be... I'm gonna play a lot of Ash when she comes out, because she looks pretty sick. Um, I like playing McCree in general. Uh, I find him very satisfying. I find him a very satisfying hero to play well. Oh, so their their diva just like fucking saved her because oh defense matrix is cock blocking us so hard and then that happens their diva saved the mercy from her bad decision so what can you do right anyway i find mccree to be a very satisfying hero to play if you play him well that is but i mean that's true of everyone right so ash seems like that to an extra degree and i mean her ult is literally deploy the boy, which is pretty sick. Um, McCree will still be better than her at, like, peeling for allies, because the flashbang. But I would not buckle down into turret form to try and fight fight Afara, because that's going to make it a lot easier for her. Not that, like, Bastion's hard to hit in general. If we heard, we heard that start happening behind us. Um... Dead eye, that is. Turning into a tank. Did we start? Oh, we started doing that right. 
We basically pushed the button the exact same time he pushed his button, so that's very unfortunate. I was going to say, that's not a good response to have, but we kind of did it at the same time. So we're changing to McCree now. Yeah, look at that. Hooray, we're playing a hero again. So, not much time left. Um, <clears throat> if you're trying to do pirate ship in general, if it doesn't work on the first push, you should usually change off on the next on when you die. Unless you got, like, really close to building your ultimate up off the first push. Oh, that was sick. That's why McCree is a fun hero to play right there. Oh, fucking love it. Um, yeah, if, if you build up your, like, real close to your ult off the first push, fair enough. Don't really just want to drop your ult. But if it doesn't work on the first push, you should usually change off of the Bastion on the second push. We tried to get the um, Mercy right there, but didn't manage to. I don't, I'm not, I'm not super happy with jumping off. We could have just, like, tried to shoot her over the edge rather than jumping into a really bad position to try and kill the Mercy. Because even if we killed her, we were, like, destined for death as well. And dying is not really uh, optimal overall. Uh, so, Bongo's currently deployed. A lot of our team are dead. Like, at this point, I'm basically like, we're fucked. We're hosed. Our team, like, it's going real badly up till this point. Now our team is just doing... You know, like, there's a lot of staggering happening. We just made the situation worse by staggering ourselves right towards the end as well. Um, but I'm basically just like, yeah, we're pretty fucked right now unless something fairly miraculous happens. Soldier's trying his hardest. He just managed to kill Farah. Oh, and Mercy. She must have come. I was like, Mercy's probably going to res the Farah, but she must have come out to try and res the Farah early or something and died to the soldier. Or I guess she could have just been out of position, but... It looked like they were fairly tucked back. So we have Deadeye. A fair chunk of their team are dead right now. Um, so we can hopefully just use it as their... Re as their kind of, this, my ear has suddenly started fucking ringing real loud. This fucking ear infection is doing kind of all kinds of weird shit to me. Um, yeah, so we can save it to try and like, kill people as they're coming back round. I would have been tempted to use it just to make sure we kill Farah, but that would be an egregious use of company resources, to be fair. So there McCree's on the left-hand side right now. I don't think we saw him because we never looked at him. But over there in the tunnel, over there in the tunnel, that's McCree. Um, I'm more concerned with, like, him than just the tanks. Uh, oh, he managed to sneak up on us real good, didn't he? We see him there. Huh. And then we just, like, didn't see him again until he was behind us. So that's kind of why I'm more concerned with the McCree than anything else for, like, that kind of situation. But he did, like... Even though I knew he was on the left side, I was surprised when he suddenly got behind us to flashbang us at the same time. But I was more concerned with the McCree than anybody else, especially since he was off by himself. So if we can, like, shoot him a bit... He's basically fucked, because then he has to go, like, really out of his way to reach a point where he can get healing. Or he just has to fight at low health, in which case he's easy to kill, you know. And then we never even got to use Deadeye, so that's very tragic, obviously, also. Um, but yeah, I would have been more focused on the McCree right there, towards the end, try and kill him, then go back to fighting everybody over there. Well, I'd kill McCree, then use Deadeye on the fight that's happening over there. Um... Yeah, you are in too many fucking Discord groups, my man. That would be absolutely maddening to me. Um, but, you know, like, that one's fine. That's okay. That one's good. Just all that shit, get it out of here. All that shit. That one's D&D. &D. That one's also okay. These two, fine. Everything else is trash. So, anyway... Uh, I don't really have an overarching thing to say about that game. Um, I guess basically just we didn't use Tac Visor very well at any point, really. Um, so yeah, that that basically. Alt execution with Soldier. Good talk, team. So thank you very much for watching. If you did, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm more than happy to answer. If you haven't already, you can join our Discord and ask questions more directly and have a conversation about them. Or just shitpost with us. And I hope you found the video helpful.